So now that we have our basic electron react app set up, uh, the next thing that I want to do is try to set up a way that we can actually persist data for our app. For this example, I'm going to use a library called electron store, uh, which just gives us a really easy way to set up a key value store that we can use. Uh, and it basically just stores the data in like a JSON file. Uh, so let's actually take a look at that. So I'm going to open up a browser. Uh, if we just look for electron store uh, and go to the GitHub for that. Uh, and if we look here, you can see uh, we can just npm install electron store to use this in our project. Um, so I'm going to jump over into my terminal and I'm going to create a new branch for this actually. Uh, so I'll just call this part three. Uh, so I'm just going to do yarn add electron store uh, to add that to our project. Um, so if we look here, you can see we can require electron store into our project. And then uh, the way to use this is actually, it's pretty simple. So you can see an example where we create a new instance of the store, and then you can use this set method uh, and pass in basically a key and a value. And then you can use this get method uh, to retrieve a value from the store using its key. Uh, and if you look below that, you can see that uh, we can use dot notation to actually create uh, nested properties as well. So let's try that out. So I'm going to uh, just copy this over into our main.js file. So up here, I'm going to do const store equals require electron store. Um, and then what we can try is down below. Uh, so everything in this file so far is just what we did in the last few videos. Uh, but down at the bottom of this now, let's actually just grab this example from the uh, GitHub readme. So I'm going to do const store equals a new instance of the store. And so what we should be able to do now is actually use that set method to create a new uh, value and save it to our store. Um, so I'm going to create a key of user settings. And then I'm going to actually use that dot notation and create a nested property of theme uh, within user settings. And then let's just try setting that to dark. Um, and then what we can do is we can console log uh, and we can actually just say theme and then we can do store.git now and um, we can try actually retrieving that value from our store so I'm going to do user settings dot theme uh, so let's actually test this out now so I'm going to jump back into my terminal and then let's just try to start up our app so I'm going to do yarn electron react uh, and let's see what happens Uh, cool. Okay, so you can see that that worked. Uh, so you can see our console log here. So we have theme and then it's actually now retrieving that value from our store. Uh, and then we're console logging that. So you can see dark. Uh, so it looks like that's all working. Uh, and one thing you might be wondering is where's the data actually getting stored for this? Um, so let's actually take a look at that. So if we jump back over to the readme for electron store, if you look back up here, uh, we can see the data is saved in a JSON file named config.js uh, in app.getpath user data. Uh, so let's actually take a look at this. So if we just copy this uh, and back inside of our main.js file, if we just console log uh, app.getpath user data, uh, let's see what happens now if we start our app again. So I'm going to yarn uh, electron react. Uh, cool. Okay, so you can see here that that logged uh, this path for us. Uh, so let's see now if we kill the server. If I try to just do ls uh, user z library application support slash electron react app. Uh, if we look at the contents of that directory, you can see this config.json file. Uh, so let's see what happens now if we do cat uh, and navigate to that path and then do config.json. Uh, cool, okay, so you can see here our user settings and theme, uh, you can see it's setting the value for that to dark. Uh, so we can actually see that data getting stored here in this config.json file.